cybersecurity is not only a technical issue or a business issue, but it's now a board level issue. And the discussion today was helping the audience demystify how does the board member think about uh, cybersecurity and how can they exercise their oversight responsibilities and importantly, what can management do to help in that process, whether it be specific reporting frequency, whether it be the type of information they're providing, whether it be key metrics or key risk indicators. I think the audience got a good sense today of what is in the mind of a director as he, th he or she thinks about cybersecurity and how it impacts their organization and what can management do to facilitate that oversight responsibility uh, of some of the cybersecurity risks that we've seen not only across the U.S. but also globally in the last several years. This has elevated to not only an ex a senior executive uh, level but a board oversight level from a perspective of they have a fiduciary responsibility um, to the organization to be able to oversee specific risks in their enterprise portfolio and cyber has leap to the top of the list of those risks. So if you think about past major high profile security breaches such as Target, Sony and others, these have a significant impact uh, on the boards, uh, not only the, the company and the board reputation, but also uh, the board members and their individual liability themselves. Trying to understand what is typically uh, viewed as a very technical topic. Um, what you typically see is a, a CIO or a Chief Information Security Officer will come and present the cybersecurity to a, a full board or an audit committee and it'll be very technical language. They'll talk about attempts, hacking attempts at a firewall. They'll talk about you know, ransomware and data breach activities and, and these things quite frankly don't resonate uh, with boards across the country today. They really need to understand what are the, the, the very simple risks to the organization, whether that be the theft of, of intellectual property or, or, or data, whether that be the personal safety uh, of maybe their, their airline customers, for example, or public transportation customers, or, or could be uh, the, the credibility of, of their brand as it relates to protecting customer information. Putting it in these types of terms have helped demystify this topic, which has been a, a tremendous struggle in the past 18 months for board members.